The voice to text Memo Notepad. Well, it's a grand app. It combines great socializing technology with astounding user experience. And you're watching this video to find out exactly how to use it, utilize all it has to offer, which I must say is far from what you'd expect. At the end of this video, you should have a clear idea of how to use this to its fullest extent. This is a screen that ought to appear when you enter the app. Here is the key to your ultimate sharing experience. Speak any message you want. If your note consists of a list like maybe your grocery list or a tasks list, then simply introduce the inherent function of listing by saying list list. If you want to share your newly created note, then say share share. In order to create a new note, click on the plus sign on the bottom right corner of the screen. From this menu, select whichever route you want to share your message through. This of course depends upon the availability of apps on your device. To preview previously made notes, click on the down arrow as indicated by the finger. Now select Saved Notes from the menu bar to find your list of notes. As of now, there are no saved notes, as indicated by the message at the bottom of the screen. But that's not a problem because as you start using the app, this list will gradually get larger and larger. Password protection of your notes is another interesting and key facility this app has to offer and it can be put to serve a variety of needs. To do so, click on the menu button and select Password Protect Notes. A well descriptive page related to the configuration of a password and choose. Read the instructions carefully and fill in the necessary details. Enable or disable password protection by simply selecting the Enable Password checkbox. Click on OK after you're done. You need to specify your Gmail address for password recovery. Next time you try to access your saved notes through the process already described, this is what will appear and you need to type in your password. Thus, your notes are now password protected. In the possible event of the occurrence of a few questions related to voice commands and other such correlated questions, click on voice commands. For example, you can visit this page to know more about the function list list, which serves to create lists of all sorts while creating a note. Displayed is a list of frequently asked questions covering a wide variety of topics. Find the question that suits your purpose and click on it to find out more. Let's say I have a question that is related to what the first one asks, then simply click on it. You will find all that you need to know about your question and more often than not, your question will be solved instantaneously. We are now back to the notes list. You can arrange or sort your notes in any chronological order you want by following what the finger does now. Now that that is taken care of, let us see how we can prioritize and categorize our notes. To explore this aspect, click and hold the note you want to edit. Let's demonstrate this with the first note. Notice now that the checkbox has become blue, which signifies that the particular note has been selected. We can set a color code to it, or simply mark it as a favorite by clicking on the star. To select a color code, click on the color tab on the menu bar. Choose any desired color from a variety of colors to suit your purpose, that is, to categorize your note.
Notice that the red color tab has appeared near the note, which shows that the note has now been successfully categorized. Now, click the checkbox to confirm your update. Here's a collapsed view of your newly prioritized and categorized note list. Quite simple, yet elegant. In the event you are looking for a particular note, the search option becomes a handy feature. Click on the search icon on the menu bar. All that need be done here is a keyword to be entered, and in this case it's pizza. A quick and efficient search, don't you think? The keyword pizza that had been typed before is now indicated in red capital letters. Similarly, you can search for anything else you desire. Well, we have come to an end of this presentation. I have covered pretty much all this app has to offer and hopefully I have thrown some light on the operational technicalities that you might have had trouble with. Also, most of your questions should have been answered by now. This app is designed for phones as well as tablets. We would greatly appreciate if you came up with some feedback on the functioning of this app so that we can make the user experience even better. In case you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us by email at support at Thank you very much.